Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Once again, Penn and Teller have fucked up in their particular use. Canadian Medical Association Journal published a study back in 2004 which clearly showed that in perioperative knee surgery, a use of acupuncture when compared to placebo statistically significantly reduced the use of ibuprofen, requiring less of conventional anesthesia. World Health Organization back in 1980 drew from peer-reviewed studies which showed that the which uh, clearly showed that acupuncture works in uh, dealing with uh, post um, with dealing uh, with uh, uh, in pregnancy-based nausea. There, uh, Michael Shermer did a documentary which actually showed that there was a Chinese scientist from uh, I can't remember which university now who actually discovered some 12 acupuncture points which actually work um, when compared to others that were non-acupuncture points that uh, that didn't work. And these were the only 12 points that could stimulate endorphin release in the body. Guess what? Not only was there, okay, so there may have been one study that it didn't work uh, in relation to lower back pain, but in terms of other pain relief, there is scientific peer-reviewed evidence for acupuncture. And this is Michael Shermer, Coast Confederate of James Randi. You can find the clip here on YouTube. So guess what? Um, there is some evidence for acupuncture, and um, get, uh, to quote only one back, uh, to quote only one study to suggest that uh, acupuncture is not effective at all, purely because of the fact that it was not shown to work for lower back pain, is like trying to say that uh, you could claim that uh, pen that uh, penicillin may uh, that just because penicillin doesn't work on one type of condition, i.e., AIDS, that therefore it doesn't work for anything else. It's called a hasty generalization fallacy, and um, like I said, I've seen this done before. So uh, again, it's it's it, you know it's, it's it's categorizing that just because it doesn't work for one thing, it doesn't work for anything else. It's an all or not. Uh, it could either fall under false dilemma fallacy, call for perfection fallacy, or hasty generalization fallacy. So um, which one do you want it under? Uh, if you're wanting the references. Um, uh, if you want the references to the specific, uh, to uh, both to the specific video and to the specific uh, um, study which I'm referring to, message me and I'll, pa I'll send you the links and I'll also send you the hefty debate I had with an art student, um, uh, with an art student who didn't understand the placebo effect and, uh, you know, and why th this was uh, effective in demonstrating this study, uh, you know, as to why it was the, as to why the placebo effect actually was um, effectively dealt with in this study and showed that the that acupuncture does work better than a placebo. In terms of certain types of pain relief, acupuncture does work better than placebo effect. In other types, it doesn't work. Remember, it's uh, medical studies in acupuncture are still in their infancy, and we're dealing with a lot of claims pertaining to one thing, some of which have been verified, some of which have not. Got to be careful in your dealing with acupuncture. Unfortunately, Penn and Teller seem to have overlooked that again. Once again, I'm going to have to complain to Showtime about this and make sure that they do, uh, and, and next time, they're going to have to revisit acupuncture and do the job right. Toodles!